Hello everyone, I am Tarun Kausik and today in this lecture we will be studying about the linear programming. Till now we have completed the complex analysis series and uh, one or two type of questions are left in the complex analysis and I will be uploading a new lecture for that. And I will be try I will try to cover the maximum of LPP in this lecture only. Okay. So now let's start. So in the linear programming we have studied about this linear programming in our 10th standard, 11th standard and the 12th standard. So we will be dealing with some more basic concept in this is since this is the first lecture. So we will be doing the basic and we will be trying to solve the previous year question that have appeared in the UPSC. Okay. Now as you can see that this this uh, these are the two equation are uh, shown for example this first equation consists of m variables and the next is also consists of m variables and uh, since there are two equation i can assume there are an equation there can be an equation okay so in this linear programming we are required to calculate the solution of this equations okay so uh, before going further we need to have the complete knowledge of some terminologies which terminologies this basic solution what is basic variable non basic variables basic feasible solution degenerate solution non degenerate solution and these select variables and the surplus variable okay <coughs> so first we will take a look about this slack and surplus variable we know that this is the less than symbol and this is the greater than symbol i am writing this is the less and this is g greater g r e a t greater than symbol okay and this is the equality equal sign so, and uh, we will be understanding this with the help of this equation this question this was an example question maximize z which is equals to 5x plus 8y here at x plus y less than equal to 4 and 2x plus y is less than equal to 6 <coughs> x plus y is less than 4 this sign shows that this inequality is less than inequality and this is also a less inequality if we want to make this or we want to change this inequality into the equal sign then we will need to change this inequality into the equality sign what i am saying yadi hame is less than sign ko hata ke iske jagah hame equal sign lagana hai to hame iske andar kuch na kuch addition karna padega and that addition is done by slack variable and the variable which is added that is known as slack variable like in this equation x plus y we have add s1 so this s1 is a slack variable and in the second we are having s2 this is also a slack variable and these are two equation equation number one and equation number two this is equation one and this is equation number two so just remember just uh, you just remember these two equation for the next slide these two equation x plus y plus s1 is equal to four and two x y two x plus y plus s2 is equal to six just remember to these two equation now how many equations are there two equations are there how many variables are there four variable how four variable x y s1 s2 these are the four variables now how to calculate the non basic variable just different just calculate the difference between these two the difference is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 here i have calculated 4 minus 2 is 2 so there are two non basic variable which are non basic variable we will be discussing in the next lecture next sorry next uh, slide so how many solution can be there this can be this is calculated with the help of combination we have studied the combination formula of combination and permutation how many equations are there two equation and how many variables four variables so just force just calculate 4c2 and this comes out to be 6 so there will be six solution like one two three four five six six possible solution will be there so in the first i am assuming that when s1 and s2 are zero then the equation will become so the, here we have seen these two equation if i put these two equation these, these two value equal to zero 
then this will become a simple equation and we we can calculate you just calculate and you will find that the value of these two will be x is equal to 2 and y is equal to also 2 okay we will get this so uh, in the same in the similar way we will proceed and we will pick, we will calculate the value and we will be getting that the value will be this okay now the question which the uh, solution which have marked with this checked sign this check result which when in, in which i have put a check check mark these four one two and three and this is the four so all these four solutions are feasible solution now the question is what is feasible solution feasible solution is that in which the basic solution consists all the positive element or the positive number in the first this is 2 this is 2 this is 4 this is 4, four this is 2 this is 6 this is minus 2 hence it cannot be our basic feasible solution because it consists in additive value in the next this is 4 and this is minus 2 hence it is it cannot be the basic feasible solution and the rest of the four are the feasible solution and which are the feasible solution the first from the first we get 2 2 0 4 3 0 0 0 we are not interested in the value of s1 and s2 we are interested in the values of x1 and x2 only sorry x and y only so out of these basic solution we are required to uh, separate the uh, degenerate solution and non degenerate solution the degenerate solution is that जो भी बेसिक सॉल्यूशन है उसके अंदर इफ देयर इज सिंगल जीरो इज प्रेजेंट इन द सेकंड वी आर हैविंग ए सिंगल जीरो इन द नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग ए जीरो अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट बोथ आर जीरो इफ ए सिंगल जीरो इज प्रेजेंट आई एम नॉट सेइंग मोर इफ मोर नॉट मोर देन ओनली इफ ए सिंगल और मोर देन सिंगल जीरो इज प्रेजेंट देन द सॉल्यूशन विल बी डीजेनरेट सॉल्यूशन ओके द सॉल्यूशन विल बी डीजेनरेट लाइक 00 30 and 0 4 all these these are degenerate solution okay in the next non degenerate solution non degenerate solution here i have written if all the positive variables present in the basic variable in the basic feasible solution if all the positive variables are present then it is it will be the non degenerate here this 2 2 is the non degenerate solution okay now how to plot this uh, graph very simple we know that 2x plus y is equal to 6 in the last slide we have shown this question this is a statement of the equation and x plus y equal to 4 these two equation so how to plot this graph and it will be very helpful for our plot for plotting that uh, graph in the next question we will be doing that uh, solution by the graphical method just put the one variable 0 at one time and calculate the value of another and the next case just put the value of another variable equal to 0 and calculate the value of variable this time so what i am saying i am saying that here x plus y is equal to 4 this was given x plus y is equal to 4 this was given just put y equal to 0 then you, x, then you get x equal to 4 so here will be x equal to 4 ok now now you put x equal to 0 you get y equal to 4 this is the y equal to 4 you just put you just uh, draw this line ok when you draw this line you get that uh, line and again in the next line you uh, you plot you draw you will get this line and these two lines are intersecting at a point which we can calculate by solving the simple equation so this will be uh, this will be this we will be getting the 2 2 okay so this will be the solution and uh, just remember one thing all the solution which lies on the x-axis and the all the solution which lies on this uh, uh, sorry this is the base this is the x-axis these all are degenerate solution because these consist of zero because on x-axis the value of y is zero and the on the y-axis the value of x equal to zero now we will be studying about the question that appeared in the main examination 2015 in december okay so the question was maximize z and these two equations are given this uh, this is equal to 12 and this is equal to 8 these two equations are given how many variables are there four variables are there okay and how many equations are there two equations are there so how many solution will be there 4c2 and 4c2 equal to 6 so there will be six solution i have solved for the six solution this is 4c2 and this is equal to 
six. Okay, and how many uh, non-basic variables will be there? Four minus two, we will be getting that. Four minus two is two. Four minus two is two. So there will be two non-basic variables, and I'm taking x one and x two are two non variables at uh, for the first solution, and calculating the value of x three and x four like the same in the previous example I have told you. In the same fashion, we will proceed and we will be calculating the values. And in this in in this case also, we are getting the four values. These four values will be the basic feasible solution. And since why feasible solution? Feasible solution के लिए जो basic solution है उसका हर element positive होना चाहिए हर element. Okay. So in the first this this checked sign solution. Checked means this put I have put the checked sign right mark. Okay. X this this is three. This is two. This is six. This is two. This is four. This is three. This is uh, four. This is four. This is eight. All these are positive. Hence, these are basic feasible solution. And out of these basic feasible solution, not a single feasible solution consists uh, consisting a single zero. Hence, all these are non-degenerate solution. There is not a single degenerate solution. Okay. So this was the question. And this question consists of two statement. And it was. Ask for the twenty marks. Okay, the first statement was that just using the definition, find out its all basic solution. We have calculated this basic solution, and out of this basic solution, how many are feasible solution? We have calculated the feasible solution, and out of this feasible solution, how many are degenerate and which are non-degenerate? Not a single are degenerate, and but rest of the four, all the feasible, all the four feasible solution are non-degenerate solution. बिकॉज क्योंकि एक भी जीरो प्रेजेंट नहीं है किसी भी जो चार जो हमारे जो चेक साइन जो सोल्यूशन थे कि हमारे क्या है हमारे फिजिबल सोल्यूशन है इनमें एक के अंदर भी जीरो प्रेजेंट नहीं है जीरो प्रेजेंट नहीं है तो इसका मतलब क्या हुआ इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि एक भी डी जनरेट सोल्यूशन नहीं है यदि जीरो प्रेजेंट होती तो डी जनरेट है यदि जीरो प्रेजेंट नहीं है तो ये नॉन डी जनरेट सोल्यूशन है ओके जो उसका जो जो उसका इस क्वेश्चन का जो सेकेंड पार्ट था सेकेंड पार्ट वॉज दैट We are required to calculate the value of uh, optimal solution. We are required to calculate the optimal solution without calculating, okay? Without using that simplex, graphical, dual simplex. Without using that, we are required to calculate the value of that, okay? Now, how we can calculate? Just put the value of this basic solution into the maximum z. This basic solution, just put this in the in this in this equation and cal 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 calculate this value. You will get minus one twenty twenty minus eight twenty. You are getting the three values. Three twenties are you getting? But this 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 twenty this circle twenty this consists of corresponding x one equals to minus twelve and x four equal to eight. क्या ये feasible solution है? नहीं. Why? क्योंकि इसके अंदर minus sign included है, minus value included है, and minus sign is not a feasible solution. So, if a physical solution is the optimal solution, we will not consider it. So, so how many feasible solutions are there? This feasible, this feasible, and this feasible, and this feasible. And how many of these feasible solutions are optimal? Only two. This twenty and this twenty. So, this is our optimal solution and also feasible. So, it's going to be a lengthy lecture. so i will stop here and i will be doing the graphical method simplex method and dual simplex method in the next lecture or subsequent lecture according to the time i will be doing okay so that's all for this lecture and at last i want to do two request one please like or please like this video if you really like this and please do share this video as much as you share more people will get benefited and please do not forgot to subscribe to my channel for getting the information directly into your email account thank you for watching this video thanks